I'm very pleased to say, uh, the director of the film, Rhys Chapman, joins us now. So firstly, Rhys, I mean, what inspired you to actually make the film in the first place? Well, I, I, I love football and um, I wanted to make a film about footballer and, and this seemed like the one real key issue facing football, but also the perfect thing to build the character's struggle around and then use it as a force of good within football, basically. Mm. And, I mean, why do you think that it that coming out is actually still so unusual, not just in football, but actually in sport. I think it's kind of grown and grown because of, you know, since Justin Fashnew, we haven't had anyone playing as an openly gay footballer. We've, we've had Thomas Hitzelsberger and Robbie Rogers, but yeah. I think that, you know, there's no denying that there has been no one since and, it, and being that first person might be off-putting and I think no one in the game has really been forced to change because no one's made that step yet. But um, it's, it's great to see things like the Rainbow Laces campaign this weekend and, mm. and more and more organisations like Sky are getting behind it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we just heard from Curtis Davis there, didn't we, a moment ago, yeah. uh, saying that the dressing room would actually welcome it. They wouldn't have a problem with players coming out. Do you think times have changed? Do you think...? Yeah, I think so, definitely. I, I don't think the dressing room would be a problem at all anymore. There's, it has to be a tremendous amount of team spirit and mm. unity to be a top-level football team. And I, I think all clubs would kind of embrace a gay player in their team. I think the main problem is the fans on match day and social media currently fueling any kind of fears that if a player did come out that they'd be a target for abuse. But yeah. And, yeah, um, I think if, if a player did come out there would be an overwhelming amount of support for that player and, and the game would adapt as a result, but until, until we get there we can't know for sure. Mm. I mean, did you speak to any gay footballers as kind of part of the, the research that you went into to make the film? Um, I've, since making the film, I've managed to speak to Thomas Hitzelsberger and um, uh, Anton Heysen, but most of our research was done through people that play football at an amateur level and, and gay footballers there and what they've experienced and also some of the LGBT fan groups that many clubs now have mm -hmm. and what they hear on match day and how they've experienced supporting their club as a gay fan. Yeah, and what has the reaction been like? to the film so far? It's been really good. I mean, we I was invited to Adidas in Manchester uh, a few weeks ago to screen it to factory workers in their distribution centre and people in overalls and high visits and they, they love the film. They're really engaged with it as an exciting football drama and it opened their eyes to something they probably weren't quite aware of before and, and that's the beauty of this film because we don't know who the gay footballers are playing at the moment. People wouldn't be exposed to what it might be like for someone. So through this film, we've shined a light on that to generate compassion within yeah, our audience. Absolutely. And I mean, how long do you think before we, you know, we will see an openly gay player, say in the Premier League? And when that happens, do you think others will feel empowered to to come out? Certainly. I think there was definitely be a, a domino effect. And I, I don't think we're looking at a long-term thing here. I'd like to think within two or three years, this would be a much different conversation. But. Mm. As, uh, I think the, the, the kind of motivation for everyone within the game is to create an environment where players do feel safe enough to come out and, and, and the natural aggression of, uh, of creating that environment will be, we'll see players coming out. So yeah. it's about the environment within the game and, and lots of things are being done now and it's, it's, it seems like things are moving in the right direction. Yeah. How long did it take you to make the film? Uh, about three years in total, yeah. Wow three years in the making so well done on all, all the hard work it really is thank you. a Thanks great watch me. yeah thank Cheers. you very much